What show did you start and wound up hating so much you didn't finish it? Riverdale. Orange is the new black. Piper annoyed the fucking shit out of me. Walking Dead. Grey's Anatomy. Heroes. The Flash. Once upon a time. So effing glad I stopped at season 2. Under the Dome. I watched a ton of Dexter, but a certain season made me hate it. Westworld. Loved the first season. Then it started going downhill. Haven't seen the latest season and I don't plan on it. Fear the Walking Dead. Don't get me wrong, I loved the first three seasons. Then, they brought new showrunners in and they destroyed the show. The storytelling was insulting, there was no creativity, they immediately made our favorite characters so unlikable, events just happened for no real reason, and it just felt like these new writers had no prior knowledge of the show before working on it. I can only think about what this show could have been if these changes didn't happen. Every single season of AHS since Freak Show always starts out strong and interesting. And then usually halfway through, Ryan Murphy consistently shows that he can't finish a story and I realize what's going to happen and just decide to quit. Around Roanoke, I stopped even giving him a chance. Dexter. Trinity Killer season was peak TV, but then Deb's finding out about things and somehow allowing it to continue just felt weird. I stopped watching not long after that. Tried re-watching it all more recently and got to the exact same point before giving up for a second time ha. Huh? Man in the High Castle. Glee. 13 Reasons Why. Arrow. Suits. How they managed to put together nine seasons of the same shit over and over I'll never understand because I quit in the middle of season three. Netflix's Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I really liked the first season, barely made it through the second season, and refused to watch the third. Handmaid's Tale. The first season starts so strong but as the seasons go on the story refuses to move forward. It was just an endless cycle of failed escapes. Or when characters finally have the chance to escape they either change their mind or go back inside. It's like the writers were too afraid to shake up the status quo. After a few seasons I just gave up. Weeds. Iron Fist. Boy did that end up sucking hard. Danny Rand is a boring character and I couldn't give less fucks about the rich shareholder siblings with daddy issues. Maybe hate is a strong word, but the pentaverite is pretty rough. There are a few scenes that made me laugh. It makes me sad that Mike Myers hasn't produced anything funny in a long time. The last two seasons of Killing Eve. Shameless. Just an over-the-top soap opera towards the later seasons. Still haven't finished the last six episodes and probably never will. How to get away with murder. Very repetitive. The OA. It was so magical and different but at the end of season two it just got kinda messy plot-wise. I still wish it wasn't cancelled because I'd still watch season 3, but maybe it's for the better. Shameless. After Fiona's wedding it went downhill. I met Jeremy Allen White at a bar a while back and I told him that Lip deserved more than the crap they put him through. Could've should've been better. But Showtime shows ending suck ass. Billions. It was never high art, but it got pretty brutal when they really leaned into the celebrity cameos. The Witcher. Yes the series isn't over yet but as a fan of the world just not interested after season 2. Handmaid's Tale. It was good for the first couple seasons but I hate shows that reset everything back to the beginning. Silicon Valley did that too. The Simpsons. It was my favorite show for years and it just keeps going and it's not funny anymore. I do like to watch the first episode when they get Santa's little helper around Christmas and I have a DVD with some early Treehouse of Horror episodes I watch around Halloween. This is us. Designated Survivor. 
First season was incredible, second season was fine, after that it was awful. It became something so different than when it began that the show was unrecognizable so I stopped watching within a few episodes of when it became a generic Washington DC-based show. Arrested Development After Netflix Took Over Anyone watch Designated Survivor? S1 was back-to-back -back banger episodes and me and my ex completed it in record time. Q to S2 and had us both cringing to even think about watching it anymore. Shameless. The characters reminded me too much of people I hate IRL. Dexter. The Crown. Sad because the cinematography was top-notch. The story however, too much for my historical fiction-loving ass. Russian Doll. The first season was good, but then random shit just started happening in S2 and the characters had poor reactions and made dumb, unrealistic decisions. It's possible I didn't understand the season or plot, but I got lost quickly and made me not want to keep track. Because someone already mentioned you under the dome, I also have to add true blood. Also the strained dot. Westworld I watched Xena Warrior Princess pretty regularly and it was starting to get ridiculous. There was a moment where Xena uttered the line no more living for you. And that was it. I stopped watching and never watched another episode. Now whenever a show just pushes me to quit I refer to it as a no more living for you moment. Girls, I just hated all the characters. No redeeming qualities. Northern Exposure Season 6 The Walking Dead Late, but once upon a time. God the show was a masterpiece up until it wasn't. Everything has a price. Prison Break Watched a few episodes into season 2 but it got boring. Shameless Sons of Anarchy The Good Doctor Sorry just too many cheesy flashbacks. The Seven Deadly Sins Shit started to look like rape allegations the anime and was made in MS Paint face with tears of joy. Westworld has the sharpest downturn I've ever seen. Starts out so rad, and becomes absolutely unwatchable in an instant. Bojack, actually. The show was really good, so much so that I found that I was commiserating too much. I have depression and the show would negatively affect my mood so much that I ended up hating it. Can't stand how it makes me feel, so I never finished it. Pretty Little Lairs A BBC show called Class. It was a spin-off of Doctor Who that took place in a high school. The first strike was a character randomly shouting Bechtel test for literally no reason the moment she appears on screen. The straw that broke the camel's back was the same character saying I'm only 14 whilst clearly being played by a 30-year-old woman. Especially given there was already a Doctor Who spin-off staring high schoolers played by actual high schoolers. Supernatural Grim Don't hate it per se, but it was an easy thing to walk away from. It was some time after couch cushion eating guy. Walking Dead Fun at first, but just got to be repetitive gore porn. There just wasn't an interesting story there. Turn. Damn shame because I thought it was a good show till it started the whole cheating on his wife with his ex-GF. Like, I want to watch a series about Washington spies, not a soap opera. <laughs>